Hello everyone, welcome back to another day in the life vlog. I just got out of the shower, I've done my makeup, I'm dressed, and my hair is looking quite frizzy. It's not doing nice curls today. So thank you so much for your advice on the last vlog, tips and products and the curly girl method and all that kind of stuff. I do think that the first thing I need to do is get a haircut with more layers in it and that will definitely help but I do like the length so I don't know we'll see but I think I might have to tie it up today because it's already driving me mad but anyway welcome back I've written a little list of things I want to get done today you know me I like a little list but just a reminder not every day has been filled with getting jobs done and chores I'm sometimes lacking so much motivation I don't want to do anything but I'm trying to get into a routine and things I do every single day is have a shower eat good food and go for a little walk and then anything else I get done is either work related or try and do a little something on the house or a task that I've been putting off so that's kind of been what we've been doing. We like watching our Marvel movies in the evenings. Puzzle as well. We've been enjoying puzzles so, so much. We completed another one a few days ago really fast, like a 500 piece one. That was fun. So I'll show you that because it's in the kitchen. But today I'm actually going to be showing you our utility room or our laundry room if you're from the US. And when we bought the house, I was so excited to have a laundry utility room. Like the feeling of being able to do the washing, folding the laundry and having everything in one place was just so exciting because in the old house we had the washing machine in the kitchen and the tumble dryer outside in like a like a garage area I guess which is fine and it worked great but um it's a lot better the system we have set up now and when we moved in we bought the old washing machine off the old owners and we quickly realized that it was way too small the drum was tiny and it wasn't really sufficient for what we needed this is how this space is looking we've just taken a shelf off the wall so I just need to clean off some of the damp that's, that's left. This whole room does need redecorating at some point. Uh, we did have some water damage come through the ceiling, so this is not looking exactly how we want. We actually bought it from the old owners just to keep us going so that we had something. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased to see it gone, to be honest, because it's just a bit too small for us for what we need. And um, we do need a tumble dryer. So I'm thinking washing machine on bottom, tumble dryer on the top, and then a shelving unit down the side we've just taken off that one obviously um so that we can have all our like washing stuff in there but yeah it's gonna look so much better and be much more functional um which is what i need i'm actually working in partnership with ao.com for this vlog uh, i haven't been paid to talk about this but they have very kindly sent and gifted us a washing machine and tumble dryer which is so exciting so thank you so much to ao i know a lot of you might not be in a position to be buying like big items but they do sell lots of different products we actually bought our dyson v7 trigger handheld vacuum from them a few weeks ago that you would have seen in my favorites video they also sell like appliances, tech, Nintendo Switches, because a lot of people have been asking me where to buy those. I'm not sure if they have any stock, but they actually have loads of deals on right now, but they have everything from like TVs, computers, all just sorts of tech, and then like uh, kitchen stuff, fridge freezers, dishwashers, small appliances, floor stuff, gardening, DIY everything you could kind of need or want they have on there so really really excited to be partnering with them and we were allowed to pick whichever product we wanted which was insanely generous and so I did a bit of research my my little heart was so content like looking at all the reviews and AO's website has this like really neat feature where you can see like little videos and read loads of reviews from customers and it really made it easier when picking which product and appliance we wanted so we went for Bosch for both the washing machine and the tumble dryer they're in the same series um, I don't know all the technical name of it so I'll leave the link to both products below for you and if you want to go and check out AO I'll leave that below but I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you what the setup looks like because I'm so happy with it we've actually had both of the products for over a month now we got them before we went into lockdown um, but they are still delivering um, but I'll have the T's and C's and stuff that you need to know um, in the description oh first things first we're gonna need a scrunchie <laughs> I thought I might be able to have my hair down today but it's not happening so we're just gonna have it up in a bun it's a little bit of a mess so i am going to tidy it up because on the right we have this work surface that, as you can see is piling up with products so we need to tidy that we've got a little downstairs toilet in here which we want to renovate we want to do this up at some point um because i don't like the blue 
or the light or the mirror or the sink or anything so this needs to get done at some point on this side we have our fridge freezer and then as you spin round Benji has some workout stuff that he's had for like 10 years so that is currently living in here but the main piece de la resistance <laughs> is our lovely washer dryer look at this setup this is absolutely amazing. So, like I said, they're Bosch. They are eight kilogram drums, so they're nice and big. We can fit loads in them. And we seem to have quite a lot of washing because of Benji's work, like with his uniform and stuff. Before we went into lockdown, I was doing so much more washing. To the left of them, I also have this kind of bookshelf thing that I got from Ikea just to sort out some of our products. So we have like items for the car, tape, um, pegs, uh, uh, shoe shining stuff, our Dyson that we got off AO as well. We have um, products for obviously washing, spare towels, iron and the window cleaner thing that I showed in last week's vlog. And then I've just got spare baskets as well. And we bought this, which I have left the box here to show you. This is a universal shelf so that we could have the um, different appliances stacked. So the washing machine's on the bottom and the tub dryer's on top. So it means that when I'm doing the washing, I can open this up and pull it all in, into the basket. It's so great. I just need to keep an eye on these little balls though. Because I had never bought or researched a washing machine and a tumble dryer before, I did actually enlist the help of my mum and uh, she went through the website with me and we had a little look on the phone together and I was like, what do you think of this one? What do you think of this one? They have so many um, amazing ones on there. So I'm really excited because it's a kind of product that you have for years and years and years and years. So this should hopefully last us. It also came with warranty that we've registered and yeah, so far, I'm loving it. So I'm gonna show you a little wash. Obviously, you all know how to do laundry, so let's just put the tablet in. And we've been doing all sorts of different um, settings, so I'm trying to work out which ones I like best, but I think the mix load one works well for us. I've also done the super quick, and then obviously you've got all these different um, settings, which is perfect. I like the delicates one as well. Um, so yeah, and then you just press start. You can't really see the screen in the camera, but that says the time and the temperature and everything. Off it goes. <gasps> so satisfying, look at it. <laughs> And then when I move on up to the tumble dryer when it's done later, we have been enjoying, again, the mix load setting. Maybe you can see this a bit better here. Can you? There we go. Um, or look, you can twist it round and then it changes it. Cupboard dry, cupboard dry plus. Um, super quick, 40 minute one. So yeah, love it amazing so like i said if you're interested and you want to check out ao then the links will be below including links to these thank you so much for sending these to us ao.com they have so many great deals on right now like when i was having a little browse i was like oh we could do with that we actually need to buy a lawn mower so i'm gonna check actually and see if they sell lawn mowers because that's the next kind of biggish item we need to buy garden and diy gardening they also have power tools oh yes good they sell lawn mowers so this is what i mean about like they have all these reviews from customers legit reviews and I really like it really helped also I wanted to add that the delivery was really fast and they did a recycling program with us so they took away the old washing machine it was already old and we didn't want the faff of it so it was really helpful that they took it away and then they also fitted them for us too so the guy that came he came through the back gate and the back door I didn't have to have any um, contact with them so we kept our social distancing this was over a month ago now but we still followed those guidelines and and they came and fitted and it was fantastic they were so friendly and really really helpful and then they let themselves out and then i just shut the door behind them so next on my job list is to tidy that little area over there because it's already getting a little bit out of hand um and we've just been dumping stuff so let's sort this out If you watched last week's vlog you'll know that I have one of the mops that you have the flash mop thing and I'm not loving it I'm gonna keep it in the bathroom so I did order this on Amazon um, my microfiber spray mop which is basically what I used to have at my old house so I thought I'd get this out today as well I love this it's really great I had one of these before and you put the floor cleaner in it and then it comes out like that so let's set this up I'm 
not gonna lie that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to but this is the floor cleaner we have the method wood floor cleaner squirt and mop almond so let's see how this is so I don't think you need to mix it with water because the one before I had you mix with water so maybe you just do I just pour that in there probably could just unscrew it and pour it in but let's just try it and see how that is okay so boom lovely that's what we want oh yes oh it smells good i need some music on to do this oh my god oh no oh no does anyone else do this it drives me mad so before i wash the floor in here one job i've been meaning to do is get some of the paint that were obviously um mistakes <laughs> when we were decorating the house but this is not a problem because i can get it out so I haven't got under the sink storage yet. That's something I desperately need. But I do have some sugar soap stuff. Let me find it. Okay, my bad. It was in here. So this cupboard is a little bit of a mess too. I need to get some baskets, but obviously need to wait for the shops to open. But this is where we keep all our tools and things. So this is what I need. Ready to use sugar soap. And this should get out um, the paint on the floor. Um, obviously, we shouldn't have had paint in there in the first place. But... You know, I think I'm gonna let it soak and then I've got this old sponge and an old minky to use. So I'm gonna go and see where else we have paint. I know there's some other places. Okay, there's a little bit there. Let's leave that on. And then that's some paint, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. And that, and that. Okay, another cleaning gadget that I have that I think might work a little bit better, especially in the cracks, is this Sonic scrubber that I got from Lakeland, but they sell it on Amazon, I think. I'll leave it linked below. A lot of you recommended me this. So the cone brush for tight gaps, soft brush for delicate surfaces such as clothing, carpet, glass, large brush for ovens, hobs, white goods, baths, tiles, shoes, medium one, plug holes, seal, shower heads, grouting, taps. We need something that's got a little bit more power. Oh, yes, okay. Right, you are gonna go. Yes. It's on the other bits. Yes, this is genius. All right, watch this, this is amazing. Yes! <laughs> okay, I'm really hot now, so when you're cleaning, get all the windows open. I'm gonna get the back door open as well. So I've done the best I can with the major paint splashes. I'm now gonna hoover and then wash the floor. Oh, lovely. Still cannot get over how gorgeous the light is in this kitchen and also I did show this briefly in another vlog but this cherry blossom tree thing that we have is so gorgeous but both of my mum and Benji's mum said that we need to pin it back like push it to the wall I think because it's just growing like outwards I haven't talked about our plans for this garden yet obviously we have loads of old stuff that needs to go but we don't have a lawnmower yet as I said and I've got an old chair here that Benji's grandparents gave me it's not the aesthetic I'm looking for but I am grateful for it nonetheless we personally feel like there's too much decking in the garden but I can see why the old owners would have done this because that's where the sunlight comes around like in the evening and I imagine that's why they built it like that but because we want to get a dog we want to make sure that this garden is ready for the dog and we've already like boxed in a hole that we had up the side of the fence there and we feel like it'll be better for the dog and for us really to have more grass rather than so much decking so ideally we need to take the whole decking up we want fresh new decking maybe a slightly lighter color and obviously all these old chairs need to go this is what this side looks like I mean it's an absolute mess at the moment all the old um, plant pots need to come off the walls and then over this side not sure about the tree yet but we really want 
want to make this like a barbecue area so get a big barbecue and yeah some outside seating maybe in that corner there and then having the grass in the garden i'm not sure but that's kind of the idea i've now hoovered so the next task is to use this and it's just that method smells amazing and then benj is going to attach the hose he's got a new hose um he's going to put it on the wall so yeah i'm just gonna do my little mop in i am so grateful that we have our own house somewhere that we can call our own something that belongs to us it's just so special every day at the moment i'm trying to wake up and think of things i'm grateful for and every day the first thing that comes to my t into my head is like the sunny weather my house and benj like so grateful to have everything that i need right here but anyway i need to um mop now and uh, i can't do it one-handed or left-handed anyway <laughs> okay floor is now done it smells amazing and we're just doing a wash here he is sure i woke up got a quick dub with the boys i'm all the way quickly and then i thought i'd uh, join in 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 english that means i played call of duty with my friends on the xbox for an hour i'm right so it was perfectly yeah. legitimate so your task today you're doing the hose yeah, and then back to bed. No? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay, it's cool. Yeah. Like, that, like that energy. Sunday night, just made us a nice steak and ale pie. Sat down 50 seconds into Avengers and hear a massive bang outside the front. I've gone to check it and I can see the driveway. I was like, oh, why is Brogan parked their car on the driveway? No, that's not Brogan's car. No. Why is there a car on our driveway? And basically uh, someone had come around our corner but just kept on turning. They were a learner driver and they accidentally drove straight into my car and our front wall. At speed. Yeah, and the first thing that I was like, I was just shocked at first. When, but you, when you see a car in your front wall, it's like, oh God, is everyone all right? Yeah, everyone was fine, no one was injured. It didn't hit the actual house, it hit the wall. There is a lot of damage. Um, the car will need a full bumper repair and the wall needs to be taken down or repaired. We haven't quite decided what we wanna do. We obviously can't show you the front of our house, but we have a few options available to us. So we either build a fence, a new wall, build new bushes up or we could just have it more open plan so we can fit the cars more on the driveway but yeah it was a bit of a it was gutting because that, that car's your baby someone has just panicked put their foot on the wrong pedal and just accelerated into yeah. your car we've seen it on C obviously we've got CCTV yeah. and we've seen it all happen and you're like I just can't get my mind on how it has happened I know apart from if they've just panicked kept the steering on lock and because they've come up 180 degrees yeah just come straight and into sped the wall. up and you're like and if, if, that, if our front wall wasn't there they would have been sat in the front room with us yeah they would have just gone straight to the house i was also really confused why they were doing a learner driver lesson because yeah. it was a husband and wife on a time where we're meant to be obviously in lockdown, in lockdown. i don't understand why they think that would be i guess because the roads are quiet but that's you know it goes against the guidelines as we know like they shouldn't be doing it um they were, so, they were calm everyone was calm and yeah they're really apologetic straight away obviously they had no choice to be but i don't need to use it i'm not driving anywhere we're walking to the food just like to do our food shop but we've got benji's car and um, we're just having to wait for the insurance company oh, and of course out. it happens on a bank holiday sunday with the bank holiday monday the next day so you get hold of anyone you had, to, you had to do like an online form and yeah. then now you're dealing with everything today for the first time it's like two days later which yeah is Tuesday today. and the home insurance guy was like please um bear with me i'm working from home and the line's oh, bad goodness. and my internet's bad and the system's down i was like oh, oh don't worry about it i was like look these are the details just call me back when you when you can so um we're just gonna yeah it's fine everyone's fine but that did happen we need to i basically had a load of cardboard in the back of the car and um i left it in there because the dump like the tip is closed this is my life now i'm on hold right so the claim has been logged on the home insurance so i just need to send over i'm going to send them the cctv footage and then i'm going to send him another email with photos and then he's asked me to get a quote from somebody which apparently they can do video chats so i just need to go and do a bit of research but i might ask ben to come upstairs and see if he can help me okay because i don't need somebody to come into the property i've managed to find someone who will come and have a look and do a quote outside the guy that i called this morning he's providing us with a quote came and obviously measured up took photos outside so we were like thank you bye cool so he's gonna send that over this afternoon so we can send that to the insurance company and we'll be getting a new wall and it will all get fixed hopefully hopefully yeah do you want to come and show us this um show my house we've also locked ourselves out twice now 
Yeah, we've locked ourselves out of the house twice, but both occasions the back door was open, luckily. <laughs> You'd think we'd learn the first time we did it. Because didn't. we've got the back door open and the front door just slams shut. Yeah, I think that's why it is. Okay, well, can you also take that ugly old... <laughs> You know that, well, that obviously you just need to go to the dump, but... We can't go there yet. Um, but this looks good, this yeah. It's got a little bit of a leak, but it's, it is what it is. It's just a little wood up. Okay, can we not fix that at some point? Oh, yeah. Really? And then look, this is why I love it. And it says so locked, right? And then, when you finish... That is yeah. quite genius, to be fair. Look, and then, yeah. oh, I'm over this way now. Oh, I need to go. Oh. You're happy about that, aren't you? So that's now on the wall. That's great. Good job. Now it's lunchtime in the feeding zoo. And I'm going to have... You're in feeding time at the zoo? Feeding time at the zoo. That's what I meant. What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> lunchtime at the feeding zoo. <laughs> <laughs> now that is the zoo I'd want to be at. <laughs> it is a feeding zoo. Do you want a bagel? Sure. Do you want a normal one or a thin one? No, 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 take it out, take it out, take it out! Why? Take it out. Why? You can have bagel if you want, I'm having nachos. Oh, okay, take that back. <laughs> okay, it is sunny in the garden, but it's chilly around the house, so I'm gonna put my top and leggings back on that I had on. It was lovely in the garden. I haven't even opened the curtains or made the bed yet today. <gasps> Gosh, I really enjoy making the bed. Also, my accountant has been on the phone this morning and emails, and we have finished, or she has, I've done all my side, she's done all her side, so we finished my tax return for 2019 to 2020, all submitted, all ready to go, and I know exactly how much tax that I need to pay in January 2021, which is really great, because I can start saving towards that now. Like, I, most people say to me that I should start putting aside tax money every time I get paid, but I basically just try and save as and when I can into my tax funds. I have tax, holiday fund, other funds, other savings, and then I wanna start pension fund this year, which I don't have a pension. Um, so that's on my goal to try and do that this year, but so far it's not, it's not really happened yet. How are you getting on? He's making nachos for us for lunch. One of our favorite lunches ever. For our nachos, we have a sour cream and chive dip, cheese, obviously the basic tortillas that we've shown you before, barbecue chicken, we buy this one, the barbecue chicken, and then Bench also adds a bit of our favourite barbecue sauce in at the moment, which is the bullseye one. Which oh, one's this sauce. called? The one, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. This is basically Avengers number two. Yeah. We're just stopping to watch this for a little bit, but normally we watch them in the evenings, the Marvel films. We were started watching it Sunday night, and, and we then, got 50 seconds into it. And then the car oh, got hit, so... There we go. So we're gonna watch a bit of this and then we're gonna carry on with our jobs. While we're watching the film, I think we're gonna try and order a frame. This was very kindly sent to us from a lovely viewer. And some of you might remember we showed this before, but it's a Walt Disney World original map from like, I don't know what year. She did tell us, didn't she? 73 was it? Something like that. Years after Raymond. But we need to measure it so we can order a frame. But. It looks amazing, I love it. I've also got her card that she sent that we can put in the back of oh, the frame. A meter. Okay, so I'm in a group on Facebook and there's a girl in there that's basically, we've just traded. Um, I gave her some bells for um, a DIY recipe thing. Anyway, I wanted to show you her island because I showed you mine the other day and look at this. This is what I'm aiming for. <laughs> this is actually next level. The amount of hours that have gone into making this, I can't even imagine oh it's so pretty so we finished watching the film which we weren't meant to do but we did <laughs> oh quick review on the film yeah. uh not my fave i, I really liked it it was good it was avengers age of what's age it of ultron yeah it's no it's the first start bringing in all the extra all the extra avengers yeah. yeah anyway i got the tool this morning carving out these paths which i think i might uh change it at some point but for now i've just started doing my pass, this is not quite how I want it to look, but you get the gist. 20 to five, and every day for the last four or five days, something like that, we've been going for a 30 minute walk, sometimes longer, just around the neighborhood, the looking at the local parks, we've been finding new walking routes, so we've just been leaving the house and then heading on off. That's what we're gonna go and do, our walk of the day before it gets too late. That's a nice tree, isn't it? Is that something that 25 and six year olds say to each other on a regular basis? I'm not sure, but we've reached a peak. 
It's so nice and quiet. Oh, a lovely tree. What a nice tree that is. Oh, nice. <laughs> we found a horsey. Somebody's horse. Look at it. Don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but oh, listen to the birds. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, are you going to leave me alone or not? <laughs> if I stand there still, maybe they'll just get bored and move on. Oh, this is we've, um. We've gone a completely different way every time. Yeah. It's so, it's so exciting. Yeah, we don't know what's going to be around each corner. We're like, oh, I love it. No, we've we got loads them. of roots now that we like. Yeah, for, we're, we're, we're practicing for when we have a dog. Yeah, when we get a dog, loads of places to take her. Here's the wall damage. Yeah, I have no words. The boot is broken. And we can't get this out now. And we have to get all this out because they're gonna they can't take the car in with all this and it's like I don't know. I think we have to open the roof. Yeah, this is uh not ideal. <laughs> Alright, we're empty now. Good job done. Go to the washing machine and the tumble dryer because we want to wash these blankets. And I've just got a couple of bits in there and we're gonna wash these. These are the blankets we have in the lounge. They just need a little love. What should we put it on? Delicates. Delicates? Yeah. Okie doke. Just thinking about it. There we go. So we didn't show you on vlog, but we finished the Mickey shaped one. Mm. We yes. showed it on Instagram and that was amazing. It was a thousand pieces. And we bought this when we went to Walt Disney World back in 2018. And obviously a lot, that yeah. Now? 2018, our next trip is obviously October 2020. So yeah, we bought this in the parks. It's a Disney exclusive parks one, Thomas Kincaid, who's one of my favorite Disney artists. So we're we've done, done now. yeah, we've already got that one in a frame. And some of you asked, how do we frame them? And we literally just bought a frame off Amazon that's the size that it is, it says the dimensions on here. So I just bought a frame that matched it. Um, so we've ordered one, it's coming on Friday. My next job is to wash some of my makeup brushes. These are my current most used brushes. I love Spectrum, Real Techniques. This one came from a set that Superdrug sent me, a Mulan one. We've got, is this Zoeva? Yeah, Zoeva. I've got some miscellaneous little brushes here, but it's mostly Real Techniques Mac and Zoeva. I bought this from Primark that I leave in there. And then I just use baby shampoo. And I do have, in fact, I've got a whole thing here of all my cleaning things. Um, this Style Pro thing. You know the electronic thing? I just don't love it. I did not get on with it. This is our dinner tonight. A nice big chicken salad with tomatoes, cucumber, spring onion, coleslaw, and potatoes. And our hot chicken that we cooked. So very excited to eat this. Dinner is done. Now we're on Ant-Man. The first one. I haven't seen this one. You haven't seen one or two? No. So he doesn't know the story of Ant-Man. But it's a good one. I do like Ant-Man actually. I think it's quite underrated in the Marvel um universe whilst we watch the film i'm digging out my coloring book that i showed in the last vlog live your dreams got this on amazon for a fiver i'm just going to start with the first one this one Finished. Look how good this looks. I really enjoyed that. There's loads of different ones in here. I'll leave this link below because this I think is a lovely book. Really? Yeah. It was really good. It's like the comedy of Guardians. Yeah. It's really like dry humour. You were proper chuckling. I had a prof. I had a couple of like proper like. But it's got like the tech of like you can see where it's going yeah, I, for I, the I next. Just, I say it every time I watch the film, I love how it all interconnects. Yeah. Benj is now headset on already, and he's gonna play a little bit of FIFA. With the boys. boys. Um, he's gonna play FIFA. A FIFA? No, sorry, you're gonna play Call of Duty, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, next wash that I'm gonna put on is darks, kind of a mixture of colors as well, actually. But that's okay, put all that in there. And then I'm gonna pop it on a mixed load and start going. 
good. Final wash of the day. So I'm gonna call it a night now. I'm gonna get into bed and play Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you to AO for gifting us the washing machine and tumble dryer again. I'll have them linked below. And I'll see you again in my next day in the life. Thanks for watching, bye.